All right, everybody, so today we are not gonna unbox anything. We're actually gonna take a look at a video uh, that was created by a good friend of mine, Kevin Bibbs. Um, he has his own YouTube channel. Um, it's based on aviation. He uh, is actually a private pilot, um, and he does all kinds of flights and videos uh, that correlate with that. Uh, but today is not about his YouTube channel as far as aviation goes, or even my YouTube channel. Today is about giving back to the community. Uh, so today, uh, Ke Kevin invited me to come out and do a like a charity drive. Uh, so him and I, we went and, and bought a whole bunch of things for like kids in, in the Bell County area, which is in Belton, Texas, um, at Foster Love. And so Kevin and I, uh, we met up at the store, got a big two cart full uh, worth of stuff, and we went ahead and uh, donated it straight to Foster Love. They're extremely happy. Um, Kevin went ahead and um, sold a bunch of his merchandise, as you see here on my shirt and on my hat, um, and pretty much uh, a portion of the proceeds um, that he got from people purchasing the, the merchandise, um, he used that towards the donations. So um, he used that. We, we bought a whole bunch of stuff. I pitched in a little bit as well. Um, so it was just really good to give back to the community. And uh, yeah, go check out his channel. Again, B2 or B squared is uh, his his merchandise brand and uh, his YouTube channel brand. So go check it out, go buy some merch and uh, take a look at this video. What's up y'all, checking in with you one time. Uh, just made it to the store. Don't worry about what brand store we're at, okay? I don't do free promotion. But listen, I got Tony with me. Here's Tony. We are gonna go inside, we're gonna spend some money, we're gonna do it for the kids and then we're gonna drop it off. I'm also gonna hook Tony up with a little swag pack. This mug around, got him a little hoodie, got him his cap, Let's make sure he's B2 certified. Yeah. All right, like I said, we're gonna go inside, we're gonna make this happen, we'll check back in with you in there. That's the last one. We'll take all of them. We'll even take that size three. <laughs> Let's take the size three. Definitely gonna need another cart. <laughs> and do it for the kids. Yeah. Right. Take that. You gonna need another cart? Grab like five or ten of them. <laughs> All the wipes. They're gonna think we have a bunch of baby mamas. That's okay. Yep. I'll we'll grab like 10. All right. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll take all. We'll just take them all. All the kids, two precious. And we'll take some anti cavity packs. All right, we're gonna buy all the Play-Doh, man. All of it. There's one thing I remember is that kids love Play-Doh. It's the truth. All right, let's get some of these coloring books. Everybody loves Spider-Man. Oh yeah, they're gonna love these. Some, uh, some colors, some crayons for sure. Grab a bunch of these. Let's grab all of them. Grab a couple more. Oh, that should be good, right? Good. Damn Tony, man, over here having too much fun. <laughs> All right, checking back in real quick. We uh, just got done in the store, loaded up two carts, and we're gonna head down to Foster Love, which is right down the street, and deliver it all. We'll check back in with you guys in a little bit.
So Foster Love was founded in 2017 as a nonprofit, and the idea was to initially gather items for families who were getting new foster placements and needed a lot of items, especially if they were removed and didn't have a lot of time to gather their own things. They needed things like diapers and wipes and toothbrushes and toothpaste and uh, pajamas and socks and things like that. And so obviously that idea grew and then from there we just had so many people in the community pour into this project and we now get to work out of this house and get yeah. to get to serve our families through other programs like we help people become certified babysitters for foster parents. Uh, that's a really big need and then we usually get to just love on them and so um, yeah and then doing other things by spreading awareness with through foster interest meetings and just talking with a bunch of different organizations in the area and overall really trying to spread awareness because a lot of times it's not that people don't care or they don't know what just to do know, they just don't know right. and so making sure that people know specifically how to get involved check out foster love in bell county um we appreciate your donations that you have uh given us and as you can see we have we have delivered for you so thank you so yes. much and thank you to foster love yes overall super success today um i loved every second of it from buying all of the things that the children will need um to actually meeting the person at foster love over in bell county i'll tell you what there is a huge difference between throwing money at things and hoping it will get better and actually using that money to purchase the things that people need and knowing it will get better. The staff at Bell County Foster Love, amazing, as you saw just a little while ago. Um, you just literally felt the, the emotion, the, the, the passion that is behind this project. And yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. I am, I'm glad I supported this cause this year.